Hello everybody, I'm Jungle Jen from the Roosevelt Park Zoo. Today we're gonna read a story about a little giraffe named Juma and Juma's mama. Juma the Giraffe is written by Monica Bond and illustrated by Kayla Heron. We've recruited some zoo friends to help us tell Juma's story today. Is there a person story time? Pay attention, pay attention. Check, 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 check. You're the one that likes me. Here we go. All right. Juma is a baby giraffe. He lives in the African savanna. Juma's best friends are Yupeto and Rafiki. They are also baby giraffes. Jumo, Yupeti, and Rafiki run and play together while their mothers watch over them. Yupeto likes to explore the new places, sometimes exploring gets her into trouble once her head gets stuck in a hole of a baba bee tree. Rafiki jokes make everyone laugh with his silly faces. Juma is kind and generous. He reaches high up into the acacia tree and pulls down branches of delicious leaves to share with smaller animals like Dick Dicks. Dick Dicks love to eat the leaves, but they can't reach high into the trees like Juma can. One day, Juma, Upendo, and Rafiki were chasing each other around the big water hole. That day, many other giraffes were at the water hole too. It was the dry season and the animals were thirsty. The hot sun had dried up all the water in the smaller water holes. Juma bent down to take a drink. He saw his reflection in the water alongside other giraffes who were drinking. As Juma gazed at the reflections, he realized that he looked just like all the other giraffes. And because they all looked alike, he felt he wasn't special. Juma wandered off and stood under an Acadia tree, alone and very sad. Juma's mom saw that he was standing by himself, so she went to him and asked what was wrong. Mama, I am not special. I have the same long neck and the same long legs as all the other giraffes. I have the same thick tongue and lips, the same black swishy tail, and the same brown spots on my fur. I wish I looked different from everyone else. Juma, listen closely to what I tell you. You are a giraffe. It is so special to be a giraffe. There is no other animal in the whole world like us. You need your long neck and long legs so that you can reach delicious leaves high in the trees. Nobody else is tall enough to stand on the ground and still be able to reach those leaves. We are the tallest animals in the world. Every giraffe is special in the animal kingdom. You have a thick tongue and tough lips and saliva so the sharp thorns on the branches of the acacia trees don't hurt you while you're pulling and eating the leaves. We can even eat the thorns. Your black swishy tail helps keep away the pesky flies that like to bite us. And the brown spots on your fur hide you from the lions and hyenas. I know you look a lot like other giraffes, but I promise you, you are also distinct. Look very closely at your spots. Each spot is different from the others and every giraffe has a unique pattern of spots. No other giraffe has spots like yours. Juma looked carefully at his spots. He had one shape like a star and another like a flower. Then he looked at his mama's spots. She had a spot like a flying bird. Juma looked over at Rafiki and Yupendo's spots. Rafiki had one shaped like a butterfly and Yupendo had one like a leaf. Yes, it was true. They were all different. You see, every one of us is unique on the outside and also my little Juma on the inside. I know another way we are, are different. Look at how much taller you are than me. And my daddy's ossicones have a different shape than yours or mine. Yes, and you are kind and generous. Appendo is adventurous and Rafiki is funny. You each have your own character. So we look a lot alike on the outside, but when you look closer, each of us actually is different. And on the inside, we each have our own personalities. We are special in our own way. Juma's mama bent her head and nuzzled his face. We are. But to me, you are the most special giraffe of all. That's because you are my baby Juma, and I love you. Did you know giraffe facts? Giraffes have the same number of bones in their necks as people, but giraffe neck bones are much, much larger. Giraffes can run more than 30 miles per hour. A baby giraffe is even faster than an adult giraffe over short distances where our brown bears can run at 35 miles an hour. Did you know giraffe facts? 
Giraffes are the tallest animals in the world. An adult giraffe is as tall as three men standing on each other's shoulders. Giraffe backs, in order to protect them from the sun, giraffe, giraffe tongues are purple. purple.